Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Intel has released two new drivers for Windows, Intel Wi-Fi and Intel Bluetooth drivers. And these are the first to officially carry Windows 11 25 H2 support. So if we head over to the download locations, first of all, the Wi-Fi drivers, which is 23.170.0. And here you can click on the download link, by the way, for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. So Windows 10 is still supported. And here we can see Wi-Fi drivers have been validated to support Microsoft Windows 11 25 H2, which is nice to see. And then if we head down to the bottom, here are the supported products. You can just pause at the relevant timestamp. And then if we head over to Bluetooth, the same applies, same version. Download link for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head down to the bottom, here are the supported products once again. You can just pause at the relevant timestamp. So those drivers are now available officially supporting 25H2. Now, Intel does say that this software release has been updated also to include functional updates. It also says there may be other minor issues addressed that will impact performance, stability, or vendor-specific functionality not listed. So users are encouraged to update to the latest version for the best performance. And it also includes Wi-Fi 7 capabilities to enterprise access points and support for native Wi-Fi sensing, according to the release notes provided by Intel which as mentioned will be linked in the description for easy access and reference. And although Intel says you are encouraged to update to the latest version, like I always say with any driver update, only update your drivers if there are any issues with your system. Because driver updates, updating to the latest and greatest, are one of the main reasons why Windows has problems and can blue screen and cause problems glitches and instability problems because the latest and greatest isn't always the best driver for your system. So as I say, only update if you have to. But nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted, those Intel drivers are now available carrying Windows 11 25H2 support. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.